with Amelia from Hello. Amelia Liana and we just filmed a video on her channel so I'm gonna link that down below. We just filmed our top 10 holy grail beauty items so check that out. But in this video we're gonna be doing my second official girl talk video and it's gonna be covering boys, crushes. We just think it will be a good topic to go over because it's something that so many girls yeah. think about all the time. It goes through yeah. and like yeah. yeah. Always on the mind. Yeah exactly <laughs> like especially when you're young and you feel like you can't figure them out. So we've got a few questions that we're gonna go through and also kind of just chat about it in general as well. Yeah. When was it that you had your first boyfriend? Did you feel pressure? This is like a weird, I'm answering your question <laughs> with the question. Did you ever feel pressure to like have a boyfriend when you were younger? Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. I think it actually came more from like TV and films yeah. and things because like the popular people always, you know, were yeah. a couple and stuff. No, I asked um, that because I was like, yeah. I was like, I realized my first boyfriend when I was around like 16? Yeah. Like, is that late? I feel like no. that might be late. I don't know, but I felt yeah. like the pressure. I think my first boyfriend was at about fifth, like 15 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a very confusing time. You Seriously. don't know like if you really like them. Cause you're not really sure what's going on. You just kind of do the things that you think boyfriends and yeah. girlfriends do. Like we go to the cinema and Yeah, a lot of, of going eat. to the cinema. <laughs> I just definitely think don't rush into it because yeah. That is really young, even at like 15, 16, and you're not, I think it's better to be sure of yourself, of 100% yourself. 100% know that yeah, you wanna. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. start sharing your time with someone else. Yeah. I think any relationship works better then. So before you're at that stage of like having your first boyfriend or girlfriend, um, there's always a thing of like, do they like me? Or yeah. someone's asked like, how do I, how do I get a boy to like me? So how do they like you? It's like a really hard time because you're like, you don't know, because it's like, quite gamey at the same yeah. time yeah, so it's it really like do is. they don't they and like yeah. sometimes it's like a hot and cold kind of thing yeah and yeah, it's, it's like, like really really hard yeah it's like mind games a little i, yeah. I feel like it was so mind yeah, games, so mind -gamey. <laughs> i have to say as well that i used to read like in the girl magazines and everything like the signs of <laughs> And yeah, like yeah. if like if they hold your gaze for longer than five seconds, it means that they like oh. you. <laughs> Notice yeah. like the signals, like in that magazine where it says like the five seconds. But what are some other like really good signals? I think if they're taking an interest in you. Yeah. Or like um, what you're doing, what you're up to. Yeah. And also I feel like when you're quite young and at that age, I feel like boys sometimes don't know how to, if they like you as well, I feel like they don't know how to approach that and a lot of the time they'll be like joking with you yeah. and like touchy-feely a little bit, but like. Yeah, like touchy-feely yeah. is like a good yeah. signal. I think that is. A little is, like joke. If there's like a party going on or something, maybe if they're like, oh, are you going to that? And yeah, I like, like wanna like, see you out and yeah, about. Yeah, kind of like thing. out of school and. What are the signals? Please um, help. <laughs> can you help us? <laughs> how can you tell if a boy likes you? Yeah, paying more attention to you than than the other girls and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you think another signal is if he's complimenting you here and yeah. there and like noticing things about you, like say if you've got your hair changed or something. Yeah, and and be like, I like what you're yeah. wearing. Yeah, or like yeah. it suits you. Yeah. It's also maybe nice to like throw out a kind of few like complimenty signals mm -hmm. of your own and see yeah. how they yeah. react. That's another way to kind yeah. of like tell if that's true. If the boy likes you back. I think a lot of the time, the signals can be quite simple. I think it's just that we really like, look and into it. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I think like, if they're taking an effort to get to know you, that usually probably means that they like yeah. you. So the next question was how to get him to like me. And I think you'll only really like figure that out if you spend time together. Yeah. You know, you kind yeah. of want to spend time together and get to know each other. Yeah, so and more often, more often than not, he'll like probably like you anyway. You yeah. know, you, you don't really, if someone's showing that they really don't like you or have not much interest in the beginning, um, or a negative in any way, that's probably not a good signal in any way yeah. to try and get them to like you. And I, I think things you will just- You don't want to waste your time. Like yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. Like there's so many people that will really like you just from like maybe meeting you once or twice and they'll like, yeah. like your vibe. <laughs> your vibe, your, <laughs> yeah. Your personality. So yeah. really don't invest too much time in trying to get someone- But if you want to like figure out if they do or don't, maybe like invite them somewhere to mm -hmm. like a party or like a, drinks thing yeah. or like just something like a group activity just to kind of spend more time with them either yeah. like one-on-one -on -one or in a group and then you can kind of like go from there to like 
mm -hmm. get to know each other a bit better and spend more time together. So I think another factor with a lot of girls or guys is that at the beginning you'll be very shy to start talking to someone that you have a crush on or that you like or that you're yeah. interested in and especially if you're maybe if you're actually it could be with any personality but it's a bit hard maybe if you're a shyer person and yeah. a bit of a quieter person. When this question yeah. that kept coming in we were like yep, yep. That, yep we've been there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was so shy and like I had a crush on it. <laughs> on he was a dick actually. But this, <laughs> this boy at school like was so not nice, but I had a crush on him, and I was just really shy to say anything. Yeah. And like anything he did that I thought he that means he might like me made me. I don't know. You're I would like really, shy. yeah, exactly. But then you kind of feel like oh, I feel really bad at myself for being mm. shy because then when they hang out with me, I'm like not being my yeah. actual self because I'm like yeah. being my like reserved shy exactly. self kind of thing. Before we were kind of discussing this, and we were like the best way mm -hmm. that we both found was to find some sort of like common ground that you're really comfortable like yeah. talking about. Yeah. Either it's like so random stuff like Could TV be. shows, yeah, food, yeah. dogs, you know, dogs <laughs> exactly yeah, like a, good one. a really passionate topic that like yeah you can both kind of like relate to and then just kind of ease yourself mm -hmm. into the conversation whereas like if you're talking about something you're not really comfortable talking mm. about or you don't really have much knowledge yeah, about then you kind of just doesn't help yeah, the situation exactly. when i was that age as well and like having crushes it was the whole msn time yeah. <laughs> sometimes i start talking online because i was quite shy to yeah. to start a conversation alcohol <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true it's true though that, do you know what that's a bit of quite a good point i mean because at a party or something, it might be easy to start talking, and then if you break the ice at like a dinner or a party or something, yeah. it's easy to then easy. carry on the conversation next time and talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there was another question we got that kind of stood out, and it was, do you think you have to feel comfortable alone before you can be happy in a relationship? Yeah. And that is, it's just a really good point, because mm. I think definitely. For myself, I feel like if I wasn't comfortable by myself and I was in a relationship that I was unhappy in, I wouldn't be able to end that without being yeah. able to yeah. be by myself, if that makes yeah. sense. You'd have a fear and your confidence will be latched onto someone else. Yeah. So you need to, like, obviously building confidence, like I mentioned it in my last video, and it can take quite a while to build up, but at least having, like, that kind of um, a base level yeah. of, like, self-confidence, yeah. you know, and just to know what you like and what you like to do, what you like to watch on telly, yeah. like, silly things, but a good pointer as well with, like, relationships and, and everything, especially if it's new, because when it's a new relationship, you feel like you're trying to kind of not please them, but you want to always... You're on your, like... Yeah, good, you know. <laughs> you feel like you should always be agreeing yeah. and things, and that's good, but try not to go against what you believe and like what you what makes you happy yeah. um yeah especially in the beginning I to think. like change with the other person yeah okay so the last thing that we thought we'd cover are first dates and the whole first date topic also a question that we had was where's good what to go ideas, on a first date yeah like yeah. makeup outfits yeah. that kind of thing so where should we start <laughs> i think that a good type of first date to have is one where you can kind of chat a little bit also, I think it's good to have maybe some things to do during yeah, it, because, so definitely. you're not like totally thinking, oh god, like what if there's any silences or anything. <laughs> if you're like a theme into theme mm -hmm. parks or like yeah. For example, when I was I was like looking up um, cafes and restaurants once, and it said that there was this place where it's a coffee place, but I think it was um, crosswords were there was like a crossword table thing or like chess on the yeah. table and it's just like something like that yeah i've been to like a bar to and it's like a themed bar and it's like alice in wonderland mm. themed oh. and there are like people coming around and they're like good day and stuff <laughs> with like a top hat yeah. and it just like yeah. makes it funny it, and like yeah it gives more you relaxed. something to talk about yeah and there's a restaurant called enamo have you been yeah yeah and there's like it's all on the table digitally and yeah. it's amazing so, so you don't like, have like waiters mm -hmm. or waitresses or anything it's like you basically order yeah. on the table with yeah. like an interactive And you screen. can see them making it. Yeah. It's so on cool. Camera. Like, it's really cool. <laughs> makeup. What kind of makeup? So I would go for something that's I just feel comfortable in, really. Yeah. I probably wouldn't go for bold lips for fear of getting lipstick on my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> which I just did. <laughs> Especially if you're like eating or like yeah. drinking or something and yeah. then it fades awkwardly. Yeah. Or, like, and you're left with this ring. <laughs> If you're someone that likes to wear heavy makeup, I don't think you should not wear it just because you're going on a date. Yeah. Like just it's like you... your look. Whatever yeah. your look is, mm -hmm. or like what you feel comfortable in. Yeah. That's the thing. Because exactly. you want to like feel good and look good. Yeah. I think also maybe I might go with a little individual. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say individual. 
individual lashes. Individual lashes. There we go. <laughs> something to just kind of amp up the look yeah. a little bit. If it's a dinner or something like that. Outfits. So what would you wear? Kind of depends what you're doing. But I always like to wear a little mm. lift in my shoe yes. kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know why. Like heels make you stand better and they yeah. make me like... They, they give just you confidence. Make, yeah, they do. Yeah. They just make you feel like a bit better. So I definitely... I always like... Mm -hmm. If it's appropriate, wear heels because then you just, I just feel better. Yeah. More sassy. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> I think again, I keep saying it, but some, you know, whatever you're comfortable yeah. in, you know, it's just because you might be a little bit nervous beforehand and everything. So if you set yourself up physically to be comfortable, then it will probably come through yeah. in, you know, you as well. Cute dress could be nice, or jeans, yeah. or like a flowy top. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. And thank you, Amelia, for oh, doing it with me. me. <laughs> it's been really cool to do it with someone else because yeah, it's like it's interactive. Like, yeah. And like double the knowledge and not knowledge but you know like advice let us know what you thought leave comments down below and uh, let me know what you'd like me to talk about next in a girl talk and check out amelia's channel for the 10 top 10 holy grail products video that we just filmed and just check out her channel in general and subscribe because she's amazing and everything she does on her channel just looks gorgeous and like she knows what she's talking about so i'm saying she a lot like you're not here <laughs> Yeah, thank a what? <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! I was just telling them, you haven't seen Bora! I'm doing all my lips is Celestial. Bye. Malin and Go. Oh god, I don't know how to say this. So we just filmed our top 10 holy. <laughs> Shut up! So we think another signal is if he kind of hands out. I don't know, not hands out. Hands out. <laughs> dishes out the compliment. Here you go.